<laughs> Hello friends. So I am so incredibly frustrated right now because I just sat down to edit this video that you're currently watching and I discovered that basically all of the footage I filmed yesterday of me getting my tattoo is corrupted. I am incredibly frustrated right now because I've basically lost all of the footage from the video, this video. If it was any other sit down car video, I would still be very frustrated, but I probably wouldn't be as frustrated because worse comes, I can just go back and film it. What is, my computer's making noises, but nothing's popping up. I don't really, I don't really know what's going on. I do have a tiny amount of footage from my camera and my phone. I do really hope that you enjoy this video. Let's roll the clips. Okay, everyone. I just got to the little shops where the studio is and <laughs> I'm honestly kind of nervous. I'm also really excited. I just feel like I've been thinking about this for a long time. Now I'm just overthinking it and it's like, no, I just got to go in, get them done and I'm going to love them. I'm going to love them. I've also just been looking at her Instagram page. So I am going to Tegan Tat Fine Line Tattoos. So yeah, I've just been looking at all the work yeah, I just like hype myself up and get excited. Yeah, I am excited, but I'm just nervous. friends so it has been four days since I got my tattoos done and I thought I would show you guys my tattoos and just talk a little bit about my experience getting them I'm refilming the parts that I can film again so I got three tattoos and I thought I would show you them so the first one I got is a little cross a little fine line cross there we go so I got this one because I am a Christian and my faith means a lot to me so I wanted to get a little cross. I also find that because this is my dominant hand, my right hand is usually the one I look at the most. So yeah, I really like that one. Super simple but really cute. The next one I got is on the back of my arm here. This is going to be a little hard to show you. It says... La Dolce Vita, which means sweet life in Italian. I wanted to get this one because it's a nice little reminder again that God has given us such a beautiful life and there's so many blessings around. I also just really like the spot on the back of the arm because I like that I can't always see it and I like that other people can see it as well. I just really like this spot. I really like the writing as well. There we go. And the last one I got is probably my favorite. I got these little butterflies. This is definitely my favorite one. This is probably the tattoo I wanted the most for the longest time. There we go. Can you see it? Ooh. Ooh, pretty. So the meaning behind this one, for those of you wondering, is again, faith related. And this butterfly tattoo to me means a reminder that in Christ we are a new creation. And I'm going to read out 2 Corinthians 5.17. I'll put it on the screen as well. So this is the new international version. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. The butterfly is just a simple reminder of that because because they become a new creation when they go in the cocoon and become a butterfly. I also have two butterflies because, again, that's a reminder that we are not supposed to do life alone and we're made to be in relationship and fellowship with each other. So, yeah, that's why I chose two little butterflies. And the sparkles are just for fun because why not? Very, very happy with that one. I love it. 
I thought I would talk a little bit about just like the process of a whole for those of you that are wondering about getting a tattoo let me know if you would like to see a separate video even just like part of a little vlog generally it is kind of what I expected a tattoo to be like yeah the pain was quite what I expected it to be I would say the pain was probably like a 6 out of 10 it's uncomfortable but it's not unbearable if you really want a tattoo it's it's worth it because you really want the tattoo but it wasn't the worst pain in the world so it was definitely doable yeah I think overall it was a really lovely experience and I definitely will be getting more tattoos I'm just gonna wait for these ones to heal fully before getting any more I went to Tegan Tat. She is a Melbourne fine line tattoo artist located in Dandenong North. I'll link her below. Make sure to go check her out and check out her Instagram. You can see all her tattoos and like healed works as well. I really loved the studio. It was a really nice experience. It wasn't super crowded. It's a pretty small studio. But yeah, so that is my experience with the tattoos. Been wanting them for a very long time. So I'm very happy that I finally did it. But yeah, keep on watching if you would like to see some of my friends' reactions to my tattoos. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up to let me know. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel. The button is down below. And with all that being said, I will see you all in my next video next Sunday. God bless. Bye.